Hello, I'm Tobin and welcome to my Shaved In. I'm just going to do a quick tour. My Shaved In is in its infancy about two months ago. Our 18 year old moved out and uh, he's got a place of his own now. He's the second son that we've sent out into the world. This cabinet here I got from my neighbor for $10 and I have some stuff out in the garage that I'm eventually going to bring in but I need to put glass panels in it and just blah blah blah. This guy here I got from my neighbor for 10 bucks. All it needed was these glass shelves. I needed three of them so I ordered them. So on my top shelf here I got Noble Otter. I've put the splashes behind the soap. And that's just gonna help keep everything out of direct light. And this bedroom here doesn't get any direct light. Um, behind me, the window is facing to the north. These are new soap brands to me, 2022. Uh, you know, long story short, keep it at that. But I got, and, and these are soap brands that I'm continuing to buy more of this year. So BlackRock is uh, the newest from MacDuff's. Brain fart. You know the name. Moon Soaps, Southern Witchcast, dummy. <laughs> Down here, I'm kind of doing a few things. One over here is a couple of new brands for to me, 2022. Uh, you got First Line, Sutton, the Black River from Dr. John's, and then the bottom one, oh, is um, Hendrix. Co. Bay Rum. Down here, this is still very much undecided what I want to do. We got some of my. So before my fat thumb shot off the video. Down here, I'm undecided exactly what I want to do. Down on the bottom shelf, I have some of my older soaps. SMG's Passion. Well, they're not all, you know, just older soaps, but a few of these in here are, and they're just kind of, you know, soaps. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with or how I want to arrange them. Like I said, the furniture is all still yet to come. So in here, all these right now are holding my personal razors that I shave with every day. I don't have any of them in their cases. You may have seen photos of my display rack with razors in their cases. But I don't store any of my stuff in their case. I got my soap commander right there for right now. Pinnacle and my Sterling EDTs. Still a lot to do. The dresser is full of razor stuff. This is just my current rotation. I always have a rotation of brushes. This is what I have right now and this is the first time ever that I have all synthetics in my rotation. And part of the reason why I did that is because I've been playing with Sovereign Fiber type brushes. Um, and then also the newest from Phoenix Artisan came out. And so I've been playing with all my Phoenix brushes. I actually have, well, it's not out right now, so I won't talk about it. Got out some tech cases and I have a whole bunch of techs out here that are mine for a video that I'm putting together about techs. My current rotation of mostly modern razors. I always have a regular flare tip and a TV special out just because I love it. That's the TV special and then there's a flare. Mind the mess. This whole place is a work in progress. This dresser is full of razor stuff. So in here I got a bunch of cases and I have more drawers full of cases down in here this is like the stuff that I use for shave of the days different bowls and whatnot and scuttles got my older vintage now <laughs> vintage my old school crown king I have the two original this I emptied out um, have some packing materials in here I had a whole bunch of razors in here until yesterday over here besides my contacts Got a whole bunch of my natural deos and soaps and whatnot here. I had soaps on here, then took them off and put most of them in there. 
with like my Perazzo and my my fine stuff. And here I keep my personal samples. This right here is all stuff that I've got together from a video that I'm doing. This is all just heads of vintage razors. Some extra handles, some more heads. And here I keep pieces of old press fits. And that's it for the most part right there. This is just a small sampling of what you see in this box here. Let me grab it and set it up here. This cool box right here. I've got a whole bunch of razors that need some serious love. And I know they all look all right, but one way or another, their handles are bent or warped. I see like there and that one there, you can see the problem with it. But that's what's inside this one. Come with me. Got different props and stuff down here. Over here I'm keeping more razor stuff. There's like stickers and business cards and different things that I use for shave of the day stuff. More cases, $1.95 adjustable instructions, a bunch of just random stuff. All these are like full of different razors and whatnot. Behind me, I've got my most of my Bear Stearn Man collection. That's because some of it is over here to my left in that cabinet. And then I have the vast majority of my Sternly collection. As you saw, there's a three or four over here to my left. Down here, these are all blades that I pair together with razors that I sell. Not my personal blades. My personal blade collection is, yeah, it's huge. It's right here. This is all Gillette Silver Blues. As you can see, most of them, virtually all of them, I keep inside. These guys here, I no longer use nicotine, but I saved these and I put my old blades in them when I just when I'm done using them. I don't think I still have it in here. I put it put them in a tic tac container and then move from the tic tac container into there when I'm throwing them out. And here is all my Phoenix Artisan. It's all Phoenix. You can see they're all about three or four deep. So like here, for instance, we got my Awesome Sauce PR Shave Chaser, and then behind it is the soaps. Um, I have the star jelly. This is all out of whack, guys. I... Where is my star jelly for Shave Chaser? Probably over here to the right. I've got stuff everywhere. Normally I'm more organized than this, I promise. That's a lie. But, so you can see like over here, I got Droid, and then there's Droid, star jelly, and then back behind is the three soaps. So this row and this row jellies go with the soaps that are back there. And then same with here. Uh, Future Fiction, I think it just used, so it's out somewhere. But yeah, this is my Phoenix collection. Got about 80 total sets, something like that. And that doesn't include ones that I have down here in boxes that are like repeats. What's this one? Right on them. Sorry about the fast movements. So in here I have extra, I already have a Dixie out. All of these that are in here, I already have out up there. And I have several other boxes in here that are like that. And this box here, for instance, is some of my brushes. Brushes in here. You may have seen how I do them in pill bottles. They're 60 gram bottles. And then I got brushes and brushes inside these little boxes are more 
doubles of soaps. So you got two Harvest Moons, one Future Fiction, a Tombstone, um, Sundown. That would be the new label, Sundown. Um, not the old label. And then a Choco Bourbon. And that would be the new label of Choco Bourbon, not the old one. And the box below it, same thing. Over here, a lot of the same thing. Uh, yeah, I love Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I'm a fanboy, whatever other juvenile term you want to apply to me. Patriot. Artist. My wife made that for me. This is an actual vintage store display. I had a whole bunch of soaps up here until the other day. My three shelves for my hutch came just the other day. I've had this for a couple of weeks, but it took about two weeks for the glass to get here because I had to order it. And so Thursday, I believe it was, I picked up the glass. Today is Sunday. And so I've spent the last couple of days trying to figure out exactly how I want to organize this bad boy. And there is a light on the bottom too. I just didn't turn it on. If you haven't tried Bricktown Grooming, I highly suggest it. Phil is doing amazing stuff. I've actually had this since I was a kid. It was in my childhood bedroom and I've carried it around ever since. Lucas, he's the one who just moved out. He's had it in his bedroom his entire childhood until he moved it out and he left it behind for me here in my den. So it's kind of cool, it's come full circle. I got it somewhere in grade school. I don't know exactly where. These are just some old hats. So for the most part, I think that's the early parts of my den. Hi baby, doing a video, what's up? Give me one second, I'm almost done. So yeah, thanks for checking out my premature den. Almost forgot, I'm still moving over fragrances out of our bedroom, out of the hutch in the living room into here. This is the only Sterling that's in here. I bought a few of these guys when they're on clearance. Uh, really like Tom Ford's ombre leather. This is the small bottle of it here. The 60, no not 60 mil, 10 mil, whatever it is. These are all, you know, together. These I don't have the solids of yet. This is actually my second Harvest Moon. And look at how clear this one is. I contacted Doug about it. And uh, you know, since it's such a natural product and it's not mass produced, the last one I had had like the slight what do you call it, amber, you know, it had the a brownish tint to it, kind of tannish. But this one, as you can see, it's clear, it smelled just fine, and one day, talking with Doug, I asked him about it. Nothing to worry about, of course. These are what I was talking about in my previous video, or two videos ago, I think it was my, my last outdoor shave. So yeah, here's majority or all of my PAA frags and then some of the others this is the only splash I have in here and that's because it's the Oro Valley splash the wife loves it and of course I love it <laughs>